probably really loud. Hi, you guys. Um, my name is Rain. Um, I'm going to be teaching the 930 Zoom today. So uh, we are going to be using some dumbbells, um, our band. So if you have a band, go ahead and grab it. We'll be getting a wall sit, um, as well as using uh, either a bench or the floor. So go ahead and grab those couple things. Make sure you have water nearby and we'll get going. Um, as soon as you're ready, once you have all your things, go ahead and just roll the shoulders back a couple times. Go ahead and start breathing. Inhale as you come up. Exhale as you go back and down. Good, add a little lift to those arms and eventually make them into big, full backward arm circles. Still matching my breath to the movement. The next workout will begin in 60 seconds. Please proceed to a station. Good, switch directions. So scoop up the back. Hands come down to the front. Feet a little wider than hip distance apart. Go ahead and crisscross your arms. Cross your chest. Add a little bend to those knees just so you're not completely stiff. Good, and then keep that little bend as we switch into a torso twist. Feel your feet and your heels, right, from the ball of the foot all the way through the heel. Press into the floor so you're grounded. Good, and then slowly let that peter out. We are gonna switch into a little bit of a cardio warm-up. So you're just gonna march in place. Swing those arms. Make sure you're moving the whole arm and not just the, you know, little drummer boy version. Good work. I'm gonna switch into little butt kickers. So I'm gonna pull my elbows back as my heel comes towards my glutes, towards my booty. I exhale when the hands come back. Nice job. I'm gonna switch into a uh, really soft little jog. And it can be, you know, where you're totally lifting your feet up or just kind of pedaling your heels, whatever works best for you. Nice job. And add a little side to side action. So I'm just so hopping and stepping from one side to the next. If you need to slow it down, make it a step tap. Totally fine. You should feel your heart rate coming up a little bit. Feel your breath rate increasing. Nice work. Good job. Let it peter out. Um, and we are going to step our feet wider than our hips. So I'm not super wide, not a sumo squat, but a little wider than hips. My toes are going to point out just a bit. So that way when I squat, my knees and my feet are pointed in the same direction. We're just going to do a couple warm-up squats. Every time you stand up, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the core. If you want, you can add a little squeeze between your shoulder blades. And so I squat down and everything squeezes as I come up. One or two more on the next one or your last one, you're gonna find a squat. You might feel like you need to move your feet. That's okay, find your, your happy place. You know, relatively speaking. <laughs> Good, see if you can sink a little lower, maybe not. Especially if you've got um, some knee issues, right? Want to be uh, cautious. Exercise. Add a little pulse. Oh, we're still in it. We are still in it. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good job, Sia. You have to wiggle it out a little bit. I'm going to put one hand on my hip, bring the other arm up towards the ceiling. Big breath in, big breath out, tip over, take a stretch. Nice, I'm gonna switch over to the other side. One hand on my hip, other arm up, and over. Good, 
Then back up to the top, both arms up. And like you're doing a lat pull down, you're gonna pull your elbows wide, like you're pulling a bar behind your head. Stop exercise and sink to the neck. Good, let those hands come down. Step the feet together. We're gonna start with a squat to overhead press for our first round. So go ahead and grab weights, something that's appropriate for you to lift overhead. The way we're gonna do this is we're gonna go squat, stand, lift, lower. So we're gonna start our first round right here. So go squat to overhead press. And just like normal class, we have four rounds of 35 seconds with a 15 second break. If you need to break it into pieces, squat, stand, lift, lower, that's fine. Or you can start to kind of glue it together. Still squeezing every time we stand up. Nice job. Take a little break. You can pedal your feet out if you need to put the weights down or grab water. Now's a good time. We have three more rounds just like that. Take a big breath. Bring those weights up so you're ready to go when the time starts. Here we go. Squat, stand, lift, lower. Squeeze the core the entire time. So when you lift up, Right, we're not breaking form. We have this nice, tall, vertical line through the center of our torso. It's ever too much on the shoulders. You can always just stick with the squat. That works too. Nice job. Good time. All right, wiggle it out. Two rounds down, two rounds to go. We repeat just like that. If your arms are feeling particularly fatigued, we can do one side. Set so, three. Set three. Here we go. We're gonna go squat, and I'm just gonna punch with one hand. Right? That's if I need a little break for my shoulders. Everything else is pretty much the same. Nice work. Inhale down, exhale up, inhale down, exhale up. Nice job, you guys. Don't forget to squeeze your buns at the top. Stop. Good, take a little break. Shake it out if you need to put your weights down for a quick second. You're more than welcome to do so, but it's quick, right? It's only 15 seconds. Before we start set four, ready, set, go. So you can go back to that double arm version, or you can do a single arm version. Whatever works best for you, whatever's going to be sustainable, right, for a full 35 seconds. Just letting you know now, our next exercise, we are going to use the band. And I'm gonna put it on just above my knees, lowest part of my thigh. Stop exercise and Good, weights down. They can be out of the way. We don't need them for the next exercise. I'm gonna put my band on. It's just above my knees. Don't worry if you need to take a seat. And you miss a couple seconds, you're totally fine. As soon as you're ready, come into a quarter squat or a little half squat. We're gonna do three steps to the left, which might look like the right, <laughs> and then three steps the other way. Good, I'm never letting my knees fall in towards my midline, and I'm always keeping tension in the band. All right, so I never step all the way together, because then the band kind of gets slack and I want it to stay nice and tight. Nice work. So there is a bend in my knees and a bend in my hip. Here's our break. So if you need your break, take it. If you're like, eh, I want to go through two sets, go through two sets. Whatever floats your boat. Good. Now, make sure you're set two. So if you take a break, go ahead and start again. If, uh, 
Check in with your feet. Are you stomping or are you dragging one foot, right? Make sure each step is precise and in control. You should feel these muscles on the sides of your buns. Wake up a little bit. Nice job. Draw the core in. See the strong armor in the front half of your torso. Stop. Good. Take a little break. We're halfway through. Two rounds down, two rounds to go. Feel free to wiggle it out a little bit. Stretch. Do what you need to do. We have two more rounds just like that. If you would like to add a weight, you can. You don't have to. I don't think it's super, uh, you know, important to add the weight, but if you want, you can. Sorry, we started set three. This is my first time doing Zoom, <laughs> so bear with me, folks. <laughs> Good job. Make sure those knees don't fall in. They stay right over the ankle. I'm going to do the uh, last two sets in a row again and not take that 15 second break. You can join me or you can take your break right here. So if you need it, take your 15 seconds. If you don't, you can skip them and work through them. Nice. Begin set four. Set four starts now. So we only have 35 more seconds. If you want, especially if you're not holding weight, go ahead and feel those muscles. Yeah, find a, get that nice tactile feedback, right? You can feel that they're working, feel that they're squeezing. Draw the core in. Shoulders don't scrunch up into our ears, keep them down. We're almost there. Stop Good job, all right, weight down band off. So we have alternating plank rows. So I'm going to show you this on the ground, but know that you can do it on the bench. You are going to need your weights. So we are in push-up position and I pull the weight up to my ribs, put that hand down and switch to the other side. Know that I can do this also without weights and even up on a bench, right? So if I need to be up here, this works too. We're in our first round, should be squeezing your core, limiting any side to side rocking. Good, take a little break. That's round one. So. Maybe you need to modify, use a bench, use a chair, use a coffee table. Um, if not, get ready for set two. We go in three, two, one. Here we go. Squeeze your glutes. Draw the belly button in towards your spine. You guys are doing great. This is your planking for the day. So know that more planks are not gonna happen. So really give this, this plank, this hollow shape, your full attention. Good, take a break. We're two rounds down. We have two rounds to go. If for the last two rounds, you wanna go through the full time, that's, that's up to you. All right. Find that position again. Remember, you can do this without weights. Ready, set, go. This is set three. We are focusing on the lats, right? That muscle that scoops underneath my shoulder blade. I'm also focusing on the muscle that's between my shoulder blade and my spine. All right, got the rhomboids engaged, mid trap. Of course, the core and the glutes. That's the end of round three. If you need a break, take a break. If you want to push it a little bit, 
Go ahead and continue to work through your break. Check in with your body. Sometimes we do awesome with our upper half and we completely forget about our lower body, right? Or vice versa, All right? So check in, are my glutes tight? Is my core engaged? Are my shoulders over my wrists? Make sure you're breathing, we're almost there. Stop exercise. Nice job. All right. Whew. Take a moment. We're still going to be using a chair or bench, so if you're using it, you can continue to use it. I'm going to do tricep dips. So, I'm going to sit on the edge of my bench. My hands are right on the edge. I'm going to move my feet forward, so it's kind of like I'm sitting in front of the bench, so I can bend my arms and come back up. We're going to start uh, as soon as you're ready because the timer lady has told me to start. So as soon as you're able, I can come into this position. Now, if this doesn't work for you, there are other ways to work your triceps, right? So if that is not a happy place for your body, you can grab light weights and do tricep kickbacks. Good, that's the end of round one. Take a moment, take a breather, pick which version you'd like to do. So I'll do another set of tricep kickbacks in case you need to see those. The way it works, I roll my shoulders back. The knees are bent, the hips are out. Pull my elbows up towards the sky and I straighten my arms back. And that's the only thing that moves, right? My elbow is the, the axis of rotation, if you will, right? My forearm is the only thing that moves in space. I'm activating that muscle in the back of my upper arm. Good. If you like the seated version, you can stick with that too. It's nice to sometimes have options. Exercise. Good. Take a break if you need it. Uh, for some people, that bent over version can be hard on the lower back. For others, the, the seated version is too much on the wrist. So pick your version. Try out both, all, any. And get ready for set three. Here we go. Good. If you are doing a seated version and you want it to be a little harder, instead of having bent knees like you're sitting in a chair, you're going to have straight legs. Either way, your spine is still moving vertically up and down like you're in an elevator, right? Not an escalator. We're not moving forward and back. Stop exercise. Nice work. Take a break if you need it. You can shake your wrists out if you need to put those weights down. Put the weights down. Uh, I'll switch back because I see that a lot of people are doing the standing version as well. So roll the shoulders back. Get ready for set four. Bend knees. Heels yes. on back. Elbows are up. This is your starting shape. We are in set four. Good, at the same time, we're still drawing the belly button in and we're drawing the shoulders down. Sometimes our shoulders really like to come up into our neck or into our ears. Make sure you have a long spine, long neck. You guys are doing great. Stop exercise and switch to the next. Good. All right. We are now done with our triceps. You can put your weights down. We are going to do a wall sit. Now, if you would like, you can grab your band. You're just going to hold it. You don't have to do anything fancy. I'm going to come into my wall sit. Ooh, I'm like way over on the side of the screen. Okay, cool. We're in set one. <laughs> Find a wall. See if you can get your shoulder blades to sit back against that wall. Nice. If you have your band, you're going to put it around your wrists 
and tuck your elbows into your sides, and then just pull your hands apart. Yep, that's it. We're working on the external rotation of the shoulders. Stop exercise. Nice. Take a break. That's set one. So all I'm doing with my hands, by the way, is this little pull. Good. If you're still in wall set, bonus points for you. If you're not, go ahead and shimmy back down Begin set and two. start set two. If it's too much to have the upper body and the lower body working at the same time, feel free to ditch one or the other. Now take a peek at your thighs, right? Make sure they're parallel, like you're on skis, right? Make sure your knees are over your ankles and your heels. You should almost be able to wiggle your toes in your shoes. Your quads should be burning right now. Stop exercise. Good. Take a break if you need it. That's the end of set two. Wiggle it out. We have two more rounds. So if you would like to go from set three directly into set four, be my guest. If you need the break, I'll tell you when the break is. In set three. Here we go. Set three. Take a seat against the wall. You can add that banded motion if you want. If you want to change it up, extend the arms out. Know that I don't round. Keep my back flat. And then doing the same thing. Just going to change where the pull is coming from, which muscle groups are being activated. Drive down through the heels. My ponytail and this pole are not cooperating. Stop exercise. Good, that's the end of set three. If you need a 15 second breather, please take it. If you do not, you can skip it. Good, check in with your posture. Did we lose our good spine support, right? This is the beginning of set four, so you have 35 seconds left. Know that if you ever need a break, take it, take a deep breath, and join us right back where we were. Right, you're always allowed to take an extra breather, but only as much as you need, not as much as you want. Two very different things. Nice job, you guys. We're almost there. Stop exercise. Good. Take a break. Shake the legs out. We are moving on. So, you don't need any equipment for this next one. You just need a little bit of space. Okay? I'm going to show it to you right now. Now step one foot out. Very jazzy, but no jazz hands. Opposite hand's going to point down. Then I switch. Then I switch. And it can be very much um, not plyometrics, right? I'm just switching. And then once I get a little more comfortable, I can reach a little further down. And we're basically getting a lateral lunge, right? A side lunge. The base leg is doing a squat. The extended leg is doing a little jazz move. That's it. Once, if I want, I get more comfortable, I can add a little hop. Good, time, that's the end of set one. If you need your break, take your break. I'm gonna show you from the side, right? My spine stays really, really tall. The hinge of the hips and the knees. Here we go, here's set two. Good. And you know your body, you know what your knees can handle. So if you're doing this more strict version, that's fine. It's kind of almost like a little single leg deadlift, right? I'm reaching for something on the floor and standing up. If you want that bouncier version, take it. We're almost there. Stop exercise. Time. All right, I want everyone to take a break. Reevaluate. Make sure your spine is not doing this. Take everything back up. We have two more rounds. Let your heart rate come up a little bit here. All right, you want to go through the two rounds? Be my guest. Ready, set, go. Set three. Glasses are not working. 
Nice work, you guys. I'm really sticking my booty backwards, right? So if there was a wall, you know, six to eight inches behind me, my tailbone would bump into it every single time. And if you've got that hop, or even if you don't, you should feel your heart rate coming up. That is the end of set three. If you need your break, go ahead and take it. If you do not, keep working. You're doing great. Begin set four. Here's set four. Go ahead and start. These are our last 35 seconds. Nice job, you guys. Remember, you can do it slow if you need to. Almost there. Stop. Okay. Good. All right. Time. Take a breather. If you need to grab a sip of water, now's a good time. We are on the floor next. You do not need any equipment unless you want one weight. We're doing glutes. So as soon as you're ready, come onto your back. Feet and knees are hip distance apart. We're gonna start doing glute bridges here as soon as you're ready. So don't worry if it takes you a moment to come down to the floor. Here's our last set. Ready and go. Lift your hips, squeeze your glutes, and then come on down. Nice, so we're doing full range of motion glute bridges. So I go up towards the ceiling. And then lower my hips, and I just barely graze them against the floor. We're going to go all the way through set two. So keep moving. Nice job. Set two. We have 35 seconds before we get a break. If you would like a little challenge, you're just going to hold your hips up and freeze. If you would like to keep doing repetitions, that's fine too. I always keep my hands on the weight just so it doesn't roll um, into my chin. All right, so my hands are just kind of resting on top of the weight. My abs are engaged. I'm pressing through my heels to lift my hips, right? So I'm using my glute muscle, the, the main muscle in the bum. Good. All right, that's the end of set two. So hips can come down. Take a little breather. We are going to switch it up for set three and four. I'm gonna do single leg. Now, if you know single leg doesn't work for you, then single leg doesn't work for you, and that's okay. If you want, you can use the weight. You do not have to. So I'm gonna go up and down. After my next one, I'm gonna hold and freeze for the rest of the time. That's an option. You can take it if you want it. You're almost there. Squeeze through that base leg. Squeeze in your core. Stop exercise. Good, take a break. Switch which foot is your lifting and lowering foot and extend the opposite leg. We're gonna do set four in just a moment here. Get ready, set, and here, here we go. So we're doing all one leg, going like up four. and down. I'll, I'll give you that opportunity to freeze at the top if you want it. And know that if you're doing double leg right now, that's totally fine. Good, on my next one, I'm gonna freeze and hold. Hold it at the top. Still breathing. Stop exercise. Nice no. job. Put your hips down on the ground. Go ahead and bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself a little hug. 
and rock a little from side to side. Stretch out that low back, massage the pelvis, stretch your glutes. Nice job. If it feels okay, put one foot down. I'm putting my left foot down on the ground and crossing my right foot over to make a little figure four stretch. If you can grab the back of your left thigh and stretch, great. If not, keep that left foot on the floor. That's totally fine. Make sure both feet are flexed. So we're not putting our ankle or knee joints in jeopardy. Good, now I'm just gonna switch to the other side. So untangle your limbs, cross the left ankle, go ahead and prop it on top of the right thigh. Again, right here is enough for you. Stay right here. If you'd like a little extra, grab through your figure four, grab behind the right thigh, and go ahead and stretch that left glute. Again, flex the ankles, right? So toes are pointed up towards the sky. All right, untangle. When you're ready, go ahead and sit up. All right, it's good work, you guys. Thank you for joining me and putting up with my Zoom newbiness. <laughs> All right, have a fabulous Wednesday, and I'll see you guys next time, maybe.